as rich as Croesus. From Herodotus's Histories in Book One, Croesus, resolving to propitiate the Delphic god with a magnificent sacrifice, offered up three thousand of every kind of sacrificial beast. He also made a huge pile of couches overlaid with silver and gold, golden goblets, robes of velvet and purple, all of which he burned in hopes of securing the god's favor. When the sacrifice was ended, the king melted down a vast quantity of gold into 117 ingots, making them six palms long, three palms broad, and one palm in thickness. It is estimated by some that the gold ingots alone, which are a combined total of 13,450 pounds, would be worth about $117 million today. This accounts for just a fraction of Croesus's offering to the god Apollo, whose oracle at Delphi offers critical advice as Croesus prepares for war with Persia. Unfortunately, Croesus grows too confident in his reading of the oracle and ultimately meets with disaster. By Herodotus's time, the wealth of Croesus was a well-established legend, inspiring even the Greeks' imagination, despite the fact that Croesus mounted the first serious threat to their freedom. It is estimated by some that the gold ingots alone, which are a combined total of 13,450 pounds, would be worth about $117 million today. This accounts for just a fraction of Croesus's offering to the god Apollo, whose oracle at Delphi offers critical advice as Croesus prepares for war with Persia. Unfortunately, Croesus grows too confident in his reading of the oracle and ultimately meets with disaster. By Herodotus's time, the wealth of Croesus was a well-established legend, inspiring even the Greeks' imagination, despite the fact that Croesus mounted the first serious threat to their freedom. In later times, the phrase, as rich as Croesus, which found its way into English by the 16th century, became more famous than Croesus himself. Which is why one character in William Thackeray's novel, The History of Pendennis, in 1850, describes another with the blunder, as rich as Croesus. More creative is Bernie Wooster's substitution of P.G. Wodehouse's Jeeves Makes an Omelette. He calls one of his uncles, as rich as Creosote.